Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Well, what do you think these are? They're kind of yellowish capsules. They don't really have any smell. I can tell you that right away. Well, they are quercetin capsules, and it's a usually powerful flavonoid and antioxidant, and it will do thy body good. There's no doubt about it. It's found in fruits and vegetables, and uh, so it's a natural thing, and they concentrate that out of the fruits and vegetables to create a powerful antioxidant. It's also a great antihistamine, wonderful for the lungs, for uh, asthma and bronchitis and all kinds of breathing problems. It also helps to relax the smooth muscles and the lungs and bronchi in general so it opens up the lungs so you can breathe better if you have asthma or bronchitis. Also helps with allergies but with the runny nose, the watery eyes, uh, sinus congestion, you know if you have that nose it just keeps running. A uh, little quercetin will, ha will help. It's great for the cardiovascular system. It's like a Reveratrol which is found in red wine uh, also, it, it's a great antioxidant, so it helps to keep those plaques from showing up and uh, open up those vessels. Really good. It helps with insulin resistance and diabetes. Uh, helps the tissues in general to in uptake insulin better, so that helps with type 1 diabetes, and it also helps with type 2 diabetes in general. It uh, fights pain. It helps with pain in general, inflammation. Helps with stress. It blocks an enzyme which produces cortisol, which is one of the main stress hormones that we get going when we get our flight, fight or flight syndrome going. And so that helps with stress, which is one of the few things that does stop that uh, enzymatic connection to producing cortisol. It helps with autoimmune disease. And... Uh, there's lots of possibilities that it may help with the healing of autoimmune disease also. More studies to be done on that. It uh, also boosts up our immune system and uh, helps with the cardiovascular system, uh, helps with preventing strokes and that type of thing, and cancer, and also helps to prevent diseases in general, you know, colds, flus, and viruses, that type of thing. So for boosting up our immune system, it's really great. And this is, like I said, this is a very powerful antioxidant. It also helps with blood pressure by lowering blood pressure and to balance blood pressure too. There's a lot of studies done showing that if people who had people, blood pressure that would jump up and down, up and down, they would finally balance out taking quercetin. It helps with arthritis in the, uh, people with, especially with the rheumatoid arthritis, it helps to ease the inflammation. And that's a great anti-inflammatory agent to help with the redness, the swelling, and the pain, and, uh, and those are really important for joint pain and you know, all the symptoms of arthritis. It's really great for prostate infections and those suffer from chronic prostate infections. So if you're one of those people, I also recommend going on a whole foods plant-based diet for that. Uh, and, but the quercetin will also help. Uh, interstitial cystitis, you know, if you're one of these people who has to get up in the middle of the night or all day long too and then run to the bathroom, then uh, most doctors don't have a clue what's going on with that and this is one of those things that can quell that inflammation of the inner tissue of the bladder itself and soothe that away. Like I said, it's found in fruits and vegetables so it's all natural. So it's not something that, you know, they're making up in a laboratory. It helps to lower cholesterol. It lowers LDL cholesterol and just lowers cholesterol in general which is a, a great thing for helping prevent heart attacks. It's, a, like I said, a powerful anti-inflammatory, and it's great for the skin also, but for rashes and irritations and to calm the inflammation of the skin. It's great for cataracts and macular degeneration and for improving eye health in general. And 
It helps to prevent and heal DNA damage and scavenge away free radicals so that we don't come down with disease and that's really important. And gastric ulcers. Uh, there's studies showing that it can help with the healing and preventing of gastric ulcers. Also helps with atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries and uh, seems to prevent this. That's really good. And viral infections. So if, as another thing, you're coming down with the viral infections all the time, the colds, the flus, uh, you know, all kinds of different things. You might want to try some quercetin. It. it also seems to help with gout and clear out uric acid and heal gout in general. And there is some evidence that it helps with cancer too and help to prevent the progression of tumors. And the normal dose for quercetin is about 500 milligrams a day, maybe once or twice a day, depending on the person. And it's found in just about everywhere. You can buy it at health food stores, you can buy it on Amazon, eBay, Puritan Pride, just about anywhere. And uh, it will do the body good. A lot of times they also combine it with vitamin C and possibly some other uh, antioxidants too. And uh, I recommend that uh, people I usually put up with a, a bunch of vitamin C, so if you also have kidney disease, and vitamins, a bunch of vitamin C is not good for kidney people. And so, if you're also if you're on blood thinners, this might not work out well also because you can't take and eat a bunch of greens in general if you're on blood thinners. So anyway, try some quercetin. For most people, quercetin, I mean 99.9% .9 of the people, quercetin does a great job. Most of all, Start eating those fruits and vegetables, the organic fruits and vegetables. You know, fruits and vegetables in the regular stores contain terrible chemicals in them. Uh, the average fruit and vegetable contains about six cancer-causing agents, 12 hormone disruptors, and about 10 or 12 other chemicals which are killing us and causing disease. So organic is the only way to go. We need to do that and we need to stay on the organic trail and be pushing for more organic food in the market and, and we also need to stay away from gen genetically altered food. We, we need just honest, good, unadulterated food which is not sprayed with a bunch of stuff and, uh, and genetically changed. And this is vitally important. We want something which is going to be good for our children. And uh, so eating right is very important. I mean, eating right is everything. Uh, we are what we eat. And as Hippocrates says, you know, exactly that. He also said, every, you know, all disease starts in the gut. So it's important that we take our time to eat right. You know, I see a lot of people right now, they're kind of in a fear mode and everything and uh, running around too fast and they tend to not eat right. And uh, forget that eating is what we are made of. If we, our body is to be healthy, it needs the building blocks in order to make that whole thing healthy. If you take a huge skyscraper and you use the wrong components in it, it comes tumbling down. The same thing with the body, you know, we need to have the right nutrients in there from good organic fruits and vegetables. And also eating raw. Raw is important because we need those live enzymes. I recommend eating about 90%, 85-90% percent raw foods because we need those live enzymes. And the live enzymes disappear when we cook food. Have a great day. I love you.